Hey guys, it's Quaddy Afro bringing you another video, and guess what it is? It's OMSI. You guys have been buying for it. I know. I've read all the comments about oh, when's the next OMSI video or whatever. You know, it's been a long time. I know it has, and I promised, and I it wasn't I stopped it. It's just that I had kind of a huge break from OMSI, um, and obviously during my exam period, I just I only kind of really played Train Sim and um, Season Motion Two for the for my channel. So now I can get back into everything because it is kind of like. It is hard balancing, um, what, what did I say, ba balancing, it's balancing, it is hard balancing, my, uh, it's say, it's so, it sounds so wrong in my head, but like when I say it, it just sounds even worse, um, it's hard balan balancing, uh, like multiple games, especially with simulation games, there's a lot of stuff that you, like basically once you get into a simulation game, there's like loads of things that you need to like know about, like obviously OMSI is a bit more of a complicated game, because there's loads of like different controls and stuff, and that's the kind of thing with these kind of simulation games, it, it does take a bit of while to get used to them, and then like you have me who like plays a huge variety of them, and that that's just crazy in itself, because I have to then learn each one of them and kind of be in tune uh, for each one of them and it, it can get a bit hard so that's why like uh, it's maybe taken, it's, I'm not saying it's on purpose I haven't done an OMSI 2 video uh, uh, for such a long time it's just because I wanted to focus mainly on two games while I was during my uh, during my exam period I didn't want to do too many because it would have taken so much time and effort to do it but now I can go back and it did take me a while I did pra had some practice basically uh, before I recorded this video because I didn't want to look like an absolute twat but anyway uh, we're back with this this is a new DLC there's not much DLC that has been coming out for it but this is uh, one of them I think by Aerosoft you can get like on Aerosoft the sim market and stuff on um, some other places I don't know where but this is called Free Generations. It's basically these free articulated or bendy buses that have been released. It's kind of like they kind of supposed to complement the Vienna and Hamburg map, but you can you can surely still use them on the Berlin map as well. You have like the 2012 one, which is this nice um, Mercedes, but it's been blacked out probably due to copyrights. It's called Gal Galink bus or whatever, but we know that's a Mercedes. Uh, you also have another two. This one's from 2012. You have one from 1998, and then one before that uh, from 1991 or two or whatever. So there's like three different variants. I've covered them all in upcoming videos, so don't worry about that. But yeah, this is actually. So we're going to start with the newest bus. I've got it in the nice Berlin color. I think this is the only one out of the three that actually comes with a Ber this kind of Berlin color. The other ones could just come with other kind of advertisement kind of liveries and basically Hamburg and. Vienna stuff so this one this one's nice that it came with this kind of nice beige kind of beige yellow anyway let's um let's get into it shout outs for the video in this video go to Adam Gray and Rubes Aaron or Rube Rubes Aaron Rubes Aaron I don't know if I'm saying that right but anyway it's Rubes or Rubes uh, I'm gonna go with Rubes uh, Rubes Aaron and Adam Gray, I'm sorry if I'm saying Rubes wrong, but I, I don't know how to say it. Rubes, Rubes, I don't know. Rubes Aaron and Adam Gray, your shoutouts for this video. And their details will be down below, so give them a check out. And um, yeah, there's a, there's a shoutout. So let's continue on with this OMSI 2 video. Now, we need to set up this bus. And this bus is pretty cool. The way it has like to set up. Let me just unpause it because I'm right now paused. Let's continue. It has this really nice screen. It has a really nice touch screen. Also, let me show you the interior. The interior is pretty nice. It's 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 good. I like it. It's very modern, obviously. It's nice. Nice livery. Yeah, it get different liveries as well with different kind of like um uh body kind of colors of the bus. So it's it, everything changes. It's great. Anyway, let's get back to the back. Let's turn on the electronics. We are going to be doing uh, line 130. We're going to do it from Neverlink or whatever it's called, Nerve Link and or whatever to, I think it's Ruford and Metro Station. I don't know how it's pronounced. You know me and my German. It's not that good. But yeah, we're going to do that route. We're going to do it in this bus. And uh, yeah, let's get set up. Let me first do a timetable. You might not see it on the screen, but I'm going to 
just basically do a timetable. Well, maybe you can. I don't know if it'll pick it up on the recording software. But I'm just going to find a timetable. Let's do this one. Uh, I think this one's alright. Let's try another one. I just want something close to the time, basically. So, uh, 1727. 1640. 15. Okay, we need something a little different. Uh, there's nothing really close to. We're just going to pick this one. We might be a little early. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to basically put in the. Uh, yeah, okay, from 17 past. We're just going to leave 10 minutes early, but we're going to drive as an additional bus so the AI won't be removed. So let's just press OK to that. So we got our something down there. We got our timetable time behind this one. And basically, this information right here now on left to the screen is quite useful because if we go into this touch screen thing here, I think if we go here, no, wrong. If we go here, type in the uh, personal number. Uh, which is, I do believe it's that, 54341, uh, Eingeber, and then you type in the pin, which is 1506, that sets up something, and then you type in the Dienstum number, Destin number, Destin number, I think, 200673. Enter. Excellent. There's like a little ticket there. And we just put, I think here you just put in the, the, the root number basically you do. Because that's what I did last time and it comes up perfectly. There we go. Just press that tick. It says here about 8 minutes behind. But we're just going to leave anyway. I mean, no, we're 8 minutes um, early. So we're just going to leave. Has all the routes there. It has voice announcements which is pretty cool. The oldest bus has voice announcements as well. I don't know about this, uh, the middle one, the 1998 uh, variant. I can't seem to set up on that one. That's a, the one in the oldest bus is really easy. You kind of just put in your timetable and it automatically comes up in the bus. But here you have to set it up manually. I think also in the other variant you have to set it up manually. But I don't know how to do that. So we'll see when we when I do that in another video. But anyway, that is all set up. It's pretty cool actually, isn't it? We're just going to put on the... We're going to just put on the... Um, uh, on the destination blinds, our destination. Let me just find it through here. Keep going down, find it. All these unknown German names. Destinations. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah! Uh, Ruchleben. Ruchleben. Whatever it's called, I have no idea. But if we go outside, we can see it's changed it. It's very nice, very pretty, pretty LED. It's all good. So let's get back in. Let's turn this bad boy on. Do you believe that's on? No, it's not. There we go. Nice. Put it into drive. And, oh, I need to put on my directions because I am just totally lost. I still have not learnt this map at all. I might know my way around, like, 1% of it, but I, d I don't know my way around it. Anyway, I think we should... Oh, there's another AR bus coming in. Not his last stop. Anyway, let's, let's get on the road, basically. Uh, just stop here for this this woman she's the only one coming on Let's turn and show you how it opens what I tend to find is that people like to get on and through this middle door as well like this these two doors are the kind of entrance and uh, this one's an exit and that one's that one's just an exit at the back this one here people like to get off and on off it and this one just get on so sometimes I would open this door and they'll just all line up for that door so yeah I have to mind out for that sometimes but anyway it doesn't matter we'll just carry on Hopefully this AI bus won't... Okay, good, he didn't crash into me. Nice. But anyway, that uh, basically we're driving that AI bus's schedule. We just kept the AI and we're just going to just drive this um, 130 route, basically. 
We're just we're just being like a, an extra bus, basically, in some sense. Anyway, let's close the door. Let's indicate to to get out of here, basically. Uh, I think personally, I like the old bus better, the best out of all of these free buses, basically. And there you go, you can actually hear the actual announcements. Gleasingerstrasse, I think it said. Anyway, no one's no one's here, so we just carry on. What I found, uh, what I have found out in this game, and I love to do it as well, like I do it in Euro Truck. I like to take corners very quickly, and bad things happen after I take corners very quickly, and that that just seems to be the kind of. Uh, uh, over uh, re reoccurring issue with like this game and and um, Euro Truck, but the thing is, I don't know. I'm still thinking if I should maybe get a um, steering wheel. And I I don't know. I'm looking at either between maybe the G25 or the G27, but I don't, I'm still like in the kind of debating mode of like if I should get one. If any of you have any suggestions of what I should get, I'd be, I'd be very happy to to hear them. Is anyone going to come on? No, seriously? Guys, I'm... Okay. You sure? Interesting. Or maybe I might have passed the station a bit too much. But no, they no, they would normally I've I've done this before. They would normally just walk up to the door. So, okay, no one's no one's wants to come on. Okay. We're just gonna head out then. <laughs> but yeah, guys, suggest me down like if there's any kind of like steering wheels or stuff like that. Um, which ones? Like, I, I don't want to spend something too much, but I don't want to get something. I don't want to get something cheap. Like, I really just want to get something maybe so uh, solid that would be pretty cool. Also, like if I was to stream like stuff like Euro Truck, I really don't want like a steering wheel that's really loud. Cause I I I know that there's there's like some steering wheels that tend to be very loud when you like turn the wheel or whatever so I'd like something that's like not too distracting I don't know as, as I said like if I was to get a steering wheel it wouldn't be something massively expensive but it wouldn't be something ma that really cheap that like what's the point of getting this it would probably only last not that long and it just wouldn't be worth it so, so go for it in the suggestions tell me but I was like, I maybe think like the G25 is cool, or even the G27, but the G27 is a little expensive, but I don't know if I can get it somewhere, the cheapest or whatever. Well, okay, this guy's taking a nice illegal turn there. Well, not an illegal turn, but just, I should have basically slowed down. Right. Put the ham, parking brake, oh, we don't need the parking brake, because... The traffic lights again, they troll me. They troll me in Euro Truck, they troll me in this game. But it's I'm really glad that I've, I'm playing Euro Truck again. I mean, what am I saying in Euro Truck again? I'm really glad that I'm playing um, uh, OMSI again. It's just refreshing to play it again. And even with like some new buses, I am trying so badly to kind of get some maps working. It is really hard. Like, the London and South map has, uh, uh, is one of the, my most requested maps for OMSI, but it's one of the most hardest ones to get working with OMSI 2. And even though I have OMSI 1, I have no idea where it is. And I have not used it for, like, probably over a year now. And I don't know where it is. I don't know, like, all the files are kind of messed up with it. So, OMSI 1 is definitely out of the question of trying to get it to work there. And then OMSI 2 is, like... I don't know, it's just, it, the whole thing with OMSI 2, what I think was bad was, like, even, like, with um, Rio Let's Plays, we've, like, talked about how the compatibility is just so bad. They did not think about the compatibility when they were making this game. They just kind of, um, oh, look, they don't want to get in at the front door, so I have to open the middle door. Yeah, the compatibility issues with... Uh, the developers didn't really put any kind of like thought into like saying thinking oh maybe they want to use older maps on this new game no they didn't they literally just 
made the game and then just expected everyone to kind of convert stuff to, to work for this game. And it's just, it's a bit annoying that they couldn't. Ju and, and, and the whole thing, we actually even went into a conversation like, why did they even make this game? It's not anything special from the first game. It, it, they're both identical. It's just that they've updated the Berlin map a bit and added two new buses. Is that really... Is that actually really necessary for a new game, or could have that just been DLC? Because I think Omsi One is just as fine. I think I don't know what whose decision was. Oh, and I'm still putting an indicator. Up. I don't know whose decision it was to. Oh, are you gonna get on, sir? Are you gonna get on? Mm, yes, he is. Um. I don't know whose decision it was to actually make this Omsi 2 a reality. Like, why? Why couldn't they just do it as a DLC? It just makes more sense. But anyway, I don't want to dwell on it too much. I like the game, but I'm just a bit annoyed that I can't get certain maps to work. Paul Gerhard. But anyway, this bus is kind of funky. Are you getting on? I don't know if they're getting on. Are they getting on? Yeah, they are. Welcome aboard! This is Paul. This is Paul Gerhardt Ring. Saying it all wrong. Anyway, let's go. Look. This reminds me of like the the Mercedes uh, Citaros that they used in um, in Britain once upon a time. But they still use them in Britain. I just mean in London. I'm gonna take this turn in. I should use my mirrors, but I can't be bothered. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Crap. Okay, there we go. That could have ended very badly. Spectre felt. Please get in at the front door. Please get in at the front. Thank you. You weird German people wanting to just get in at the second door. That's just so weird. Well, actually, in some places in the UK... Well, actually, bendy buses, yeah, you could... Wait, the, the bendy buses in the UK and probably around Britain, basically, in the in the, in London, um, bendy buses, you can basically get in anywhere. And that's why, also, I think another thing they got rid of them, why they got rid of them in London, uh, in London, you could, have, you could get on them anywhere and you don't necessarily have to actually tap in. So they were actually a really nice way of like, you know, having a free bus ride to somewhere. And I think that's why it probably lost London a lot of money on like, because they put these bendy buses on kind of major routes. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why they actually got rid of them. Because come on, that's just like you the amount of people that would just hop on at the back seat. And the driver does not do anything. People come in at the front and don't even tap in their oyster. That's how it is. It's... I don't know. I think it was just a bad system to implement into London. Just really bad to implement into London. Anyway, hey! Hey guys, loads of people here. There we go. Passengers getting off, passengers getting on. Hello. Excellent. We are progressing. Wasser! Wasser works, Trasser, I think. Let's just think it's that and just carry on, basically. And I have a I have AI collision on. I mean off. I just I think AI collision is just retarded. I just like I remember when I first played this game. I literally was crashing into cars. Cars were crashing into me, and I thought, you know what? I'm not doing this. I just turned it off. I'm just so glad because I just don't have to worry about it. Cars would just stop and then just turn their hazard lights on and go all manic mode. And there is an option to call the police and whatever like that. I've never used it. I don't really give a shit about it, to be honest. Alright. There you go, nice people. Um, are you going to come in from the front? Yes. Oh, no, some people want to come in from the back. Yeah, okay, cool. So far, so good. I remember my first ever, like, 
videos of Omsi was just so bad. But to be honest, this video could turn out bad. I don't know. It might be this video might be in parts. It depends how long this whole journey is. So expect the first part or second part, or maybe a third part. I'm not sure. I think it'll be at least two parts. But I might be completely wrong. It might be short. It might be nice, quick, until one video. But who knows? I don't know. We'll see. It does it indicate to what's happening here? Okay, there's cut. I thought there's sorry, very sorry, very, very, very sorry. Okay, no one's getting off, getting on here, which is great. Just waiting for that last door to close because it's so cool. Like when you put when you put on, uh, there's a button here that presses. Like say if some if if there's people that want to get off. There is a button where you press when you stop this bus, which then just allows the doors to open automatically by themselves and then like close by themselves automatically, which is pretty cool. Like the only door really you have to control is the uh, this the one at the front here. And also, uh, I'm wondering if you guys can hear. Uh, or not here basically I've changed my keyboard so you guys can't hear the annoying kind of clicking when I because I use a keyboard mainly for all these games so I thought it would just be better to get uh, I had I had two keyboards and the other one is just more like a like a nice silent type of keyboard so you guys probably won't hear the annoying clicking or whatever which is good for you and anyway I like these it's, it was about a change because I that uh, mechanical keyboards they're good but they can prove a little annoying after a while. They're cool. They're really nice and comfortable to use. But I just, you know, I thought like it was about time I should like change, and like it would be also better for streaming and stuff like that. So you yeah, guys don't have to hear the annoying clicking and stuff like that. What I do for you guys? What I do? Right. And again, like with say train sim suggestions and stuff like that. If you have any suggestions for OMSI, um, use the request uh, link to my Steam group, and um, just post stuff there, basically. Like if you want me to try like a bus or uh, what's it like a map or something like that. Which maps are going to be? Maps is going to be the trickiest thing. But just leave me the link. And even if, if it would be also good with OMSI is some instructions because I'm just totally crap when it comes to like installing custom stuff to games. So like if you can give me some instructions of how to do it then I, I'd be gladly try out some stuff. But if you, if, if, if you post me something like oh try this and, and this and then I just look at where to get it from and I'm just completely like confused with like how to do it I probably won't do it because... I, I'm just not good at those kind of things. Someone getting off here? Stop. Someone getting off there. No one getting off the back. Let's go. I hope. I hope the. Okay, good. The the light's green. If I stay in here, we can actually ch see the uh, the sign change uh, what destination the next stop is. There we go. See, that's really cool. I really like that about this bus, and also the old bus has it. I don't think the the the, the medium vari variant has it. Sorry, passengers. I was just talking to my subscribers about the nice thing that tells you what stop is next. In the UK, well, in London, it's called iBus, and it's pretty cool. It's a nice system. It tells you like the next stop. It tells you even information sometimes about the next stop. Interchange uh, points about the stop. Uh, it tells you the time. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop somewhere here. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 the thing is, like when you put that automatic button thing to open the doors automatically, sometimes you might press the button to open the door, and then like I, I remember I do that, and then I close it, and then it opens it back up automatically, and it can sometimes glitch a bit like that. 
There we go. Let's carry on. Look at that car that just turned out. Look at him. If I was going any faster, you, know, you would be screwed a bit. And he's now turning. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at him, and then I just realise I have a stop here that I have to stop at. Can you just come in through the front door, please? No, you're not. You're going to come in through the through the back door, which is really nice of you. You don't even want to say hi to me. That is rude. You should be wanting to come up to your driver and go, Hello, driver. I appreciate that. I, I have long working hours. I, I, this is an isolated job. What makes it more interactive is if you say hello to me. It'd be great, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, Shiza. I think we just slipped over that line. Uh, just a bit, but we're fine. I have to now look at the outside view because I can't see the, the what the lights say, but I think we just made it. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys say hello to your bus. Well, I don't say hello to the bus driver when I get on. I don't like buses. In real life, I, re like, I like buses as like an enthusiast, but I don't like going on them. That's just because in London, it's just I just hate buses in London. I, I literally absolutely hate buses in London. Like absolutely detest going on buses in London. That's just that's just me. I just hate it. Whoa! What the hell? Why are you closing and opening like a maniac? Come on, close the doors, let's go, we're on our way. Okay. But yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know, I'm just, I've never been, like, I used to love going on buses so much. Like, I remember when uh, the old Rude Master buses were literally the kind of normal kind of buses on, on routes. Uh, I loved going on them, and I just, I, like, the old kind of Leyland buses, I really liked going on those, and then when things change, and I just, I don't know, I think the whole kind of thing with bus travels change a lot in London as well, and, it, like, when a bus is really busy, it's just horrible to be in. Like, to be honest, I'd rather be in a packed tube train than in a packed bus train. I know that might sound weird, but I'd rather do that. Okay, we have another. We have other some other people that want to get on in the middle again. Are they in? Yes, they are. Same clear the doors. Yeah. I just I don't know. I like buses. I like all the kind of different type of model buses and stuff like that. Like I have some model buses that I have collected. That's how much I like. I like buses, and I still like it. But. I'd rather, like, I prefer going on, like, a tube train or something like that, journey-wise. I literally, during my whole, like, time in college, uh, it was just basically train. Overground, then Southwest trains. No buses involved. And the times when I actually had to go on buses were the times when, like, the overground wasn't working or Southwest trains wasn't working. So... And I literally hated it. And the, the days when the train isn't working, the buses are packed. So you can see where this is turning out. Like, it was horrible uh, when I had to go on, like, a bus. And especially, like, low floor... When low floor buses get packed, it's just... And especially the ones that have a single double leaf door at the front. So basically, you pack yourselves in. And then, like, say if you need to get off, but not many people have to get off. You have to go through all those people to get to the front. And it's incredibly frustrating. Let me just put on the parking brake. But yeah, I absolutely hate that. That's like one of the worst things. Let's go, Rachda Spandau. And down this steps, you'd go to but basically Rafda Spandau metro station. And I have that on, um, what's it? I have that on, um, World of Subways Volume 2. I'm thinking of doing a little volu uh, World of Subways Volume 2 series as well. As well as carrying on uh, doing a bit more of um, 
doing a bit more of the world of subways uh, circle line doing a little bit more of that and also then doing some of the world of subways volume 2 but in subway on the ooh um, what the hell why are we still here Yeah, doing some stuff with uh, the World of Subways Volume 2, the Berlin Subway on the U7 line. I think I, that, that, I, literally that's what got me into the World of Subways, that second game. That second game I thought was incredible. Like, the detail was pretty good, the sounds and stuff were pretty good. I just absolutely loved it. And it just lacked that bit that the, the third game have, like say with moving people, AI that you can go on to, I like, I like that kind of stuff. But then there was stuff that they missed out in the third game that were really cool in the f second game, like uh, shift duty or uh, what else was there? A different stock of train that you can drive. Like in the second game you had two different variations of train you can drive, which I thought was really cool. Okay, we're just taking this turn nice and easy and we're gonna stop here come in guys there is a front door say hello to me everyone in let's go but I, I, I wanted to start off with the um, newer bus kind of go new to old basically Straight on plats. Okay. Ooh, I'm driving a little crazy. Oh, yeah, but we can turn right. That's good. Oh, clip the curb there. Kind of badly. Oh, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Hello. Let's go. I don't like... Uh, one thing also I don't like about this bus is the rims. The, the, the wheel rims. Like, they're really basic and kind of bad. Like, what the hell's going on there? They just look like some really bad textured wheel rim that they've probably got off a really cheap Russian lorry and this is like a Mercedes bus this should have quality rims we're in Germany for God's sake we're not in Russia and then but but basically the older variants buses have no rims to be honest they could have stuck with that and just did no rims but no they don't, they just have to give us these really disappointing stop <laughs> oh my god sometimes they think like oh it's gonna stop but then it just it doesn't stop and it's really annoying what the hell's happening see the, the, the glitch now with the doors it kind of like opens and closes it, it basically it detects people going out but then it can't detect people going so it closes the door and then realizes that there's people queuing so it has to open the doors again it's so funny Anyway, my turning key. I don't know why this car's gone into the second lane. I'm gonna overtake it slightly right now. There we go. There we go. Have I cut across it? Oh, just about. Look at that skill. Let's turn on the indicator. Oh crap! No, it's going ahead. It's going ahead of me my plans of overtaking just failed but yes things are going well so far that bus stopping sound is really annoying well it's not annoying but it's just a little irritating feels like someone's died like it's someone's been attached to a heart uh, rate monitor machine and every time someone presses the the um, <laughs> the buzzer like another life has just been lost well, a lot of people are getting on Hello. Hello. 
a lot of people getting on, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Is this these AI cars are really rude. They c can you let me go? Thank you. Thank you. What a nice driver. And what's this car doing now? And I hear a. Oh my lord! Get your license taken away from you, sir! Holy cow! Jesus Christ! Did you just see that he just completely stopped and turned? And I do believe there is a ambulance behind me, which means speed up. No, it doesn't. But but I I I like to speed up. We're gonna turn here so it can get in front of us somehow. Okay, I'm a bendy bus. <laughs> I kind of realized what I did now. What I hate about actually the emergency vehicles in this game is that they don't overtake. They just they stay with this annoying siren, but they don't overtake. Like, how? Come on, let's go. Thank you. It's so annoying. Like, really, really annoying. So you just have this. Imagine if they, like if we were in traffic, it just stay there behind you annoyingly. Like, oh, I hate that. Anyone coming in? Was someone coming in from the back? No, no one's getting on at this station. Okay. Let's let this let's let this siren go away. That bus, do you see this single full bus? I don't know how you drive it. Like I see it as an AI, but I don't think you can drive it. But I really wish I could. It's annoying, but I don't know. Maybe someone knows how to drive it. I don't. Are you gonna let me pass? Good. I will, I will allow you to live. People are getting off. Oh, need to slow down. Sorry guys, sorry, I don't want to crash into this ugly green Mercedes. I, I hope you guys all understand that. Let's get into here. What's this? Goo. I don't even gonna attempt to read that. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Nice yellow swear. Nice pink swear. <laughs> Everyone off. All doors are closed. Yes. Lovely. And there's also the annoying laughter uh, loop, uh, background kind of track playing where I, mean, I hear the passengers laughing and giggling together. That can get a bit annoying. Like, really? People laugh in a, like, laugh like that together, like they're at a dining table? No. What the hell? This must be some really happy bus, but I've never been on a bus in Germany, so I don't know. This might be the actual normal atmosphere. So, I, I don't know. Poldis Direkton. I'm guessing this is police station? Police Direkton? I don't know. Come on, close, close. I hate them. They take so, sometimes they take really long because they automatically close. I can close. I can't close the third one by myself. Uh, it, it automatically closes. I can close the second one by itself. But I just let them close by themselves. Crematorium uli. Crematorium. I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. But it's nice that there's these kind of voice announcements thing. That's a really nice addition. I really like that. And this kind of touch screen thing. I'm still not used to like doing the ticket stuff. I probably won't. I think it's just a hassle to do. Cause
because you'd have to every time stop and then kind of just look and be like, oh, here's a ticker. And like, imagine if there's a lot of people waiting at a bus stop. It kind of just, it would be that you there spending 50 minutes just serving people. And uh, no, thank you. I want to drive the bus. I'm not. Bit want to, I don't want to be a ticket inspector as well. Like some people like that feature. I don't have nothing against it. It's just I don't want to serve tickets and drive. I just want to drive. Right. I think we're coming up to the snow. We're coming up to the last stop where everyone gets off, and then we kind of go round into the siding where. The buses park up and get ready to do the return journey. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. I like this last stop. It's just outside this um, metro station where you get actual metro AI, which is really cool. Right. Stop nicely. Let's have a look. Oh, clinical. Park and brake on. Thank you for boarding, guys. Last stop. And people just disappear after they get off. Look, look, there we go. There's the AI, and that's what I can drive in World of Subways, almost basically. Right, let's head back into the sidings. Am I gonna be allowed? Okay, I'm going to be allowed now. Alright, let's go. We're going to go round to Roof... What? Endhaltestelle. Bitte aussteigen. What? That's wrong. Why is it saying... <laughs> what? There's no more people on board. No one can be on board. Let's just check. I'm not sure. Maybe there are people. No, there are people on board. This, that was the last stop. I don't know why it's given an announcement for another stop. What does that say? Mecca, Mecca Delweg. I don't even know what the hell. Maybe I did some error in putting in the stops or something like that. I'm not sure. Well, hell with that then. There we go, we're here at the last stop where there's some AI bus. We'll just, I think, park up behind here. Right there, like that. Oh, it's a 434. Four. Uh, too early, too early. Yeah, we're going to expect the too early kind of stuff because we are basically running an additional service. We weren't supposed. Well, I could have deleted the AI bus, but I wanted to. Turn off the engine. And there we go. Let's have a look at this. 434, I don't know anything about that. And then there's another 130 bus there. But anyway, um, there we go. There is, this is the first bus of the, the, the most modern bus of the Free Generations DLC pack that I've driven for you guys today on Route 130. I'll do the other two up in the upcoming videos. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope it went smoothly or whatever. It was. I think it was an alright journey. I think it was pretty good. No real hiccups. Maybe a few drivers that peed me off. But, you know, that's, that's the life of being a bus driver. It ain't easy. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. You get to keep up to date with my uh, uh, videos. Well, I just completely lost what I was thinking in my head there yeah keep up to date with my videos when i upload them get notified uh follow me on twitch because i'm live streaming now quite a lot because i have free time in the summer and if you like the video give it a like shows me that you you know like the stuff i do if you have any other friends or whatever that like this sort of stuff like into the kind of you know omsi or the bus kind of mania kind of thing share it with the share functionality for, oh what am i saying functionality function a button. Oh my god, I'm losing losing words. But yeah, uh, other than that, you guys have been great. I'll see you in another video. The shoutouts again for this video go to Adam Gray and Rubes, 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 Aaron. I am so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but 
I don't know, Rubes, Rubes Aaron and Adam Gray, there you are, the shoutouts, their links are down below, again guys, you've been great, I'll see you in another video, I've been Quarry Afro, bye bye. We ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that, gotta catch a fast to do.